Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Baha'i Life Apothecary, professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Last week's video, you guys, was very, very, very intense. Well, not the whole week, but the full moon. The days around the Scorpio eclipse were ridiculously intense. The, I could barely finish the reading, but I wanted to push through with it because spirit was speaking very clearly. And I knew that I would be able to get through it if I took a break afterwards. And that's exactly what I did. Unfortunately, the vibes that I was feeling and the energy that I was feeling was very accurate. And like I was feeling, there were so many shootings, some of them racially charged. Um, there was, I, I was seeing an, an airplane crash, a small craft airplane crash. And that happened in Miami. And um, th then there was just accidents left and right, just mass shootings all like everywhere. And, you know, I just want to check in with you guys and make sure that you are good. I don't feel like we're 100% out of the woodwork yet. I feel like the energies have definitely dissipated, but they don't feel 100% clear and clean. I woke up this morning well, I stayed up really, really late last night watching the eclipse and working with the eclipse. I don't want to get into the details of that because there was a lot of magic that was being done and a lot of intentions that were being worked. Um, the eclipse itself was very beautiful. I love eclipses <laughs> for everything that they bring always. Um, I don't want to get into the details of what we were working on, but it, it is what it is, right? So all good, you know, just, it is, it is what it is, life. And, but I want to check in on with, in with you guys. What is the vibe? Um, I don't know why I just heard the word digital or digitalis. So one of the last things, one of the last times I heard that, oh, didn't we talk about a heart condition? Yes, we did. We did talk about, I, um, yesterday during, dur during the day, I had a, vision of someone who has a heart condition the last time I received the info the words digitalis and saw foxglove it was for someone a friend of mine who had a heart condition so just I will it's on my Instagram for those of you guys that need to hear that full message or see that full message because it wasn't anything spoken it was something that I posted on my Instagram and it definitely felt like more of a male energy anyways moving past that sorry to interrupt and I know that was probably random, but I just heard that really quickly. Digitalis and digital going digital. Anyways, so how are you guys feeling? What is the vibe? Um, okay, so now I'm hearing the word dislocated. So it feels like something's being dislocated. Let's just go ahead and dive right into the reading because clearly spirit wants to speak right now. Okay, so angels and guides from the highest lights of the universe, I thank you for your presence now. Thank you for the viewer who's joining me once again and, and sitting with me and vibing with me. What messages do you want me to share today? What is on your heart? I'm hearing the heavy load, like a heavy load. What is the, what is the message that you would like to bring to the collective. I'm hearing the word transformed and actually seeing a transformer. Allow me spirit to have clarity. Allow me to be precise. Allow me to be able to hear you and what you were saying. Allow the viewer to understand which messages apply to them. Exactly. Ooh. Hmm. 
I'm hearing the words transfixed, transfixed and bewildered. I'm hearing um, a pop top, something popping, someone cracking open a soda. This could actually be someone literally doing this or it could be an ancestor who genuinely like enjoys soda and you bring them soda, like bring them like a fresh can of soda every day. That's your offering to them. Okay, first cards that are falling right now are Eight of Cups, the Devil, Six of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and the Empress. I'm gonna clarify the Eight of Cups really quickly. Uh, with the Eight of Cups, I'm hearing the word transfixed. Your eyes are set on something. Your eyes are really set on something. You set your sights on, okay, Spirit's saying you set your sights on something. You set your sights on. I'm seeing and hearing the word forewarned. A lot of, uh, many of you were warned before beforehand of something that you were going to be steered away from. I'm getting like a little, like a little baby roller coaster, like a roller coaster for children where it's not crazy. Like it's not the dips and the highs and the lows. It's more just kind of like these sharp angles. So some of you guys knew that there was going to be some sharp twists and turns, but you're holding on, but not for dear life. So that feels good. And as I'm saying that we have the six of wands here, spirit is, is telling you for the first message for the collective that spirit wants to say is that um, of course, with eclipses in general, two of pentacles here, we've been getting the two of pentacles a lot lately. Of course, with eclipses, there's something that ends up getting smooth. That's how spirit wants to say it. They want to smooth this thing out of your life. They don't want to pry it out of greedy, hungry hands is how they're describing it. Sweaty palms, um, just holding on, just really, really gripping. They don't there's a part of you that is acknowledged that holding on and gripping on to something is not going to establish it. That's what Spirit is saying. You trying so hard to hold on to this thing is not going to establish it. The harder you hold on, it, it doesn't necessarily promise that it will hold on to you. And you have come to a certain space in your life where you allow things to kind of be smoothed over. There's a sense of gratification there's a sense of satisfaction that you're going to feel this week or that you're feeling right now or at the time of you listening to this message and how you're able to smooth things over or how things are able to kind of, I don't want to say fix themselves, but work themselves out. Um, Spirit is showing me this, the, this um, the, like a baby, a baby roller coaster. But every, every turn, there's like the tracks get laid right ahead, like right ahead. So this is spirit showing you and confirming to you that, okay, it says your manifestation is working. Your manifestation is actually working. Our manifestation is working on your behalf. Some It's like you called something out or you called something in. You're successful with calling something into your life. And it actually starts to put the, 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 the stepping stones down because you called it in. And this is what's making it smoother instead of a more bumpier ride. Spirit is acknowledging your success in this matter. Just you knowing what you want. Okay, I'm hearing the, the song, Highway to Hell. <laughs> I don't know who's saying that, but I, I'm hearing so some, someone might need to look up the lyrics of that, Highway to Hell. It doesn't feel like it's actually evil. It feels like you're just out of a, you're just in a um, new stage in your life, a new ad adventure set, like your adventure seeking or life has you on the next adventure, the next chapter, the next journey. It actually feels really good. Some of you guys are have been inspired by a book or a magazine specifically. Interesting. It's like you read a book and the book kind of spoke of your own experiences. Something about that book really resonated with your heart, your soul, and your spirit. And you're just like, oh, this is me. This is what I'm meant to do. Like, I just feel it. 
It, even if it's a like even more so if it's a fictional character something about it being fictional really speaks to you it, it just feels really relatable the character is relatable i'm also getting the um i'm the secret life of bees by sue monk kid sue monk kid that it's funny because that book actually It's funny, I, I actually, now that I'm thinking about it, the word transfixed came through. There was pieces of that story that I was transfixed on that I didn't know at the time, but it was going to be incorporated into my life. And I feel like you're doing that. At the full moon, This this the next card that we have here is the moon card. This moon card is reverse. What I love about this energy right now is that you don't need to know or see what is happening in order for it to be successful. That's a part of the adventure, actually. And now that I'm really sitting with this, we have two cards here. Both are lit up by the moon. Both are lit up by the full moon. There is a calling. It doesn't feel forbidden, taboo, bewildering like I there's a spirit there, there's this word that spirit is mentioning about the word bewildered it's something that I keep seeing like smooth I keep hearing the word smoothed or soothed like something that's smoothed over or soothed in your soul where you hear it you feel it you receive it you're transformed by it someone is absolutely walking away from a tumultuous relationship a tumultuous generational curse a tumultuous lifestyle they are finally putting it in its resting place there is a dam that broke within them or an uplifting an upswelling of healing that literally lifted them up it was guided by the ancestors it's literally like a current a wave literally lifts them off of their feet or you're working with water spirits Some of you guys, I'm hearing put the X on them, like put an X on, on your name, put an X on your, something about the mouth too, like something about your lips or your mouth. So, oh, something someone said, something that was spoken, a curse from blood on the lips is what I'm hearing. Blood on the lips, blood from the ear. I can't say what spirit just said. Um, please forgive me, spirit. I just, I don't feel comfortable saying that out loud publicly. And I know that you'll understand why. Um, there's a curse that was said from the mouth, especially towards women, towards women or all over women, women in your family. Um, it could also be the womb. It was like something that should have been fruitful or something that like you have you have all of the piece like the ingredients for this recipe is how spirit is saying it or how this ancestor is saying it we have all the key ingredients for this recipe but somehow every time when we make this food and follow the instructions or follow the the recipes instructions it gets muddled like something gets muddled something gets burnt something happens like the pot the pot boils over it catches it it burns and it's like it's a curse and this food is meant to nourish nourish your soul nourish your life this spoon this food is not an actual physical food that you're ingesting but it's it's a it's an it, it's um it represents something it's symbolic and it's like something that's meant to nourish your life and give you sustenance so that you're not stuck in like survival mode, so that you're not doing things solo dolo, so that you're not, um, you know, having to take uh, like less quality ingredients. It's like you're giving, you're being given. Interesting. Now that I'm looking at it, we have eight of cups, the devil, six of pentacles, page of wands, and the empress. I do see a dramatic, drastic turn of events. 
I'm hearing um, spirits say promises are meant to be kept. Promises are going to be kept. This is something uh, rectified. I'm hearing rectified. I feel like something is being erected, actually. It's erectified. <laughs> I don't know if Spirit's making up words here, but it's something that was on its le uh, laborious, laborious, laboriously, something that you're, some, someone's toiling. Back to the train tracks, those same train tracks that we were talking about earlier. It's like, I don't know if this is ancestors or who this is, but it's like the sweat, the blood, the tears, the sun beating down, and all of this is like working on your behalf. And it's like, it could be worse, but everything is getting smoothed out and paved out. And now it's like you broke this, you broke through something, you broke free from something. So now you're, you're free of it. You're this, you have a new, a new commitment, a new contract is the word. It's a new contract that you, uh, I'm seeing the little mermaid and her voice and she's signing away, but it doesn't feel bad. It actually feels like you're getting your voice. You earned your voice or you got your voice back and you get, you know, fill in the blank. Like the thing that you lost and the thing that you wanted, like you're gonna get both. Some of you guys are genuinely are gonna be singing singing praises some of you guys are active in the church you might be singing in the church in front of in front of others is what i'm hearing singing for your family singing to your ancestors that's a way to honor them is by singing to them even if you're in a public place and people don't know what you're doing i see someone singing in a library spirit speak to me about the devil <laughs> and they're just like go ahead yeah, so there's this new contract, new contract agreement. The Hermit card and the Page of Pentacles are here. Something is signed. It's a spiritual signature, a spirit, spiritual agreement. If you, mm, I want to say this, and as, as I said, that just got like completely dark in here. Some of you guys bargained literally with the devil like you know someone bargained with something you got to be careful who you're calling out to and I, I did mention this in the full moon and Scorpio video you have to be really careful and mindful about who and what you're calling out to because spirit a guide the angels they can come in all different types of forms you know you never you never know on uh, who totally because it can be very deceiving so there's certain things that you want to do beforehand before you start a reading or before you start working with the spiritual realms you know that you know that you are using discernment that you're using clarity so that you're not making quote unquote a deal with you know the devil so you don't want to sign your life away you don't want to sign your soul away for someone who's oh my gosh for someone who's going into the music industry or about to like really rock it up there's a there's a something about selling your soul or sell, singing selling your voice or your singing voice or something like that and <clears throat> you don't you don't want to exchange that your freedom for money some things shouldn't just can't be bought some things should not be bought um, there is a level of disappointment and frustration that it is that I'm hearing and feeling from the ancestors if you decide to sell your soul or sell this thing. It's like fool's, fool's gold where it's just like some things can't be bought is the vibe that it is that I'm getting. And, and those things are love. Those things are freedom. That Those things are peace of mind. So anything that causes you to compromise that or risk it is not worth the risk and you have to walk away from it. You do you, like you're gonna do what you're gonna wanna do at the end of the day. I also feel like it's not gonna be the most evervescent. I don't know why, like super clear. It's not gonna be so sparkling crystal clear that's Franklin in the background snoring. There's going to be, I don't know why it's not clear, spirits. Talk to me about why it's not clear. Or if you're running a business, make the rules clear. 
Eight of Wands. Something feels rushed. It's like someone saying, sign on the dotted line, blah, 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 blah. But 16 easy payments, even you. It's like, it's very like car sales mini. <laughs> King of Cups. I don't like this guy right now. I don't like this. It feels like someone who should be a comfort to you. I do get a sense of uh, an older male, and I did feel this earlier, um, doing something that is really like, I'm hearing like doing the best of him. So it's like trying to do the best that he can, but it's with circumstances that are difficult or not the best to say the least. So it's like an older man who has a, a, um, a big heart and a, a good intention, but the circumstances are dry and barren. His pockets are empty, so he has to sell his child. Like it's something like that. Something really drastic, something very extreme. Like a person who has good intentions, but they do, they're not doing what their heart wants. And because they can't, they feel obligated. They feel kind of pinned with their back against the wall. There's this real deep sense of regret and remorse that they're going to have to live with. It's like they, they or like a father or a, a person who is having to, like, let's say there's a divorce and you have, you, you wish that you didn't have to do split custody, but it's something that you have to do for the child. You like, so you sign the papers and you know what you're signing towards and you just know that you would envision better for your child, for your family, but it's just the way that circumstances played out. There's just no, so you're just, you're gonna have to deal with the cards that are dealt. The other thing that I'm also feeling and sensing here is an older gentleman who has heart conditions. This is not the first time that I'm feeling that within the last 48 hours. These are old, I'm hearing old habits die hard. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. That's something that he would say. This could be drinking too much. Um, something about abandoning like healthy lifestyle. <laughs> and then even let's say that's something about like, let's say it is a heart condition and then the doctors say that you gotta go, you gotta exercise and like one day he does exercise and the exercise is too hard. So then he has the heart palpitations and it freaks him out. And then he's just like, fuck this. And then he kind of withdraws back into or reverts back to a bad habit. And he's like, well, I tried. And it's just like, yeah, you tried that. Just don't go so hard this time. So it's like someone who has this begrudgingly type of energy, this feeling of disappointment that it's a lose-lose situation. It just doesn't seem that way. I feel like um, something about the female, the female form, the goddess energy, ancestral, the women on the ancestors, on the father's side are surrounding you, supporting you. Even if you don't button biologically, if you, even if you don't know your biological father, I'm seeing um, women on the father's side and I'm also seeing an uncle or a, an aunt who's like an uncle. So maybe she's kind of masculine. Maybe her energy's kind of masculine. Maybe she's always been kind of independent or when she died or when she passed, she was very single. Now this person looks at you as their child. Um, there's a, a message from them right now. Ooh, as far as slowing down slow down you're going too fast you gotta make the moment last da -da 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 -da. feeling groovy da -da -da -da. feeling groovy they feel like you're putting too much stress on your heart or you're putting too much stress on the circumstances you're putting too much pressure on your body or your whatever this thing is like you're putting too much pressure on it and they want you to slow down. And even if you're young, there's this idea of old habits that die hard with you. You might be very stubborn or hard-headed. Shout out to you. So am I. Very, very hard-headed. The women around you are just 
but on the ancestor plane, they're just, especially on the father's side, or if it's on the mother's side, it's, it's a woman, women who have been pushed out of closeness with the, with the community. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Like someone who's been pushed out, ostracized, someone who's very different, unique, a different substandard. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Like someone who's very different, erratic, not erratic, eccentric, maybe Aquarian, Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarian, Um, I'm, I'm hearing, someone's on the last few days of their vacation and then spirit is telling you to really slow down and really savor it. Take your time with this. You might not come back to this location. You may love this location, but you may not have the opportunity to come back to this location. That's going to be like fine. Like there's going to be other places that you go to, but you might not be able to come back to this one spot. So if that's the case, really savor it. And and if you call out to your ancestors while you're there, they're gonna throw some things in your lap. Um, Lanyops is what, it, what I'm calling them. Probably not saying that correctly, but it's an extra bonus to help you enjoy your trip, enjoy this time in order for you to gain more character, like in order for you to gain more experience or understanding of the character of the place that you're in because the place that you're in has a soul to it. It has a life, it has an identity. I, for some of you guys that don't understand that um, certain locations and places give off energy, give off personalities, give off vibes. Um, they do. I'm seeing an emphasis on butterflies, hummingbirds, dragonflies. Um, I did a quick, not a quick reading for someone, but I did a message earlier for someone. Um, and shout out to you, Love, if you're listening and a dragonfly flew in. So I'm kind of just seeing like these things, these unexpected animal totems that like kind of fly in. I'm seeing like um, a, a spring worm is what it's called, a spring worm, the, those silk thread worms, I guess, that hang down from the trees. It's just a sign of spring. <laughs> oh, they're like, don't hurt me. So cute. It's just little dangles things, just little things. It's just the reason why this is happening is because your energy is drawing to it. Like things are just getting drawn to you. Mag Some of you guys might be doing attraction mag, like magnet, like you're a magnet. So you're attracting certain things to you. There's a vibe that you're putting off and everything is just kind of drawn to you. It's miracul miraculously drawn to you. Mm. Talk to me about the page of wands, please. Spirit. Okay, King of Wands, yeah, and the Knight of Wands, I'm sorry, King of Wands reversed and the Knight of Cups reversed. So I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. So that's kind of the vibe that is I'm getting here. It feels very oily, feels very greasy. Who is this? I'm hearing don't be like that guy <laughs> judgment just avoid this person just don't I just I just feel like this is a week where I'm hearing the word self-sufficiency nobody who can none like me nobody and who can lay your body down I don't know nobody baby that's what I'm hearing so Spirit is like, literally no one's going to be able to do what you can do this week. And if it's too much, don't do it. There's only one person for the job and you got to wait for them. So wait for that person. Don't take shortcuts here. I'm hearing pay, pay, put your money down, put a deposit down, put the money down, put the money down. There's an exchange of money. Same, uh, same, same, what? I don't know why I'm seeing someone jogging. They're they're trying to clear their minds with their jogging. 
um, before they put money down on something, a down, a down payment, direct deposit, a web. Ten of Swords, World Card, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Reverse. There's something about putting something down, like um, putting money, literally Queen of Pentacles is counting the coins. In, well, she's not literally, it's just, but it's a, a person who counts the coins in their wallet, in their purse. Things that they are wanting to receive, something that they, I'm going to give you this and I'm going to need this in like a cash advance. I don't know why I'm hearing a cash advance. If you don't got it, don't do it. Like it's kind of what it is that I'm hearing and feeling. And if you do decide to sign in order to make sure that you're not signing your life away, that you're not signing your soul away, make sure that you're doing things right. Ten of Swords, the world card. It's going to be a hefty amount of money. Trust me on this one. It's a lot of money. Or it feels like a lot. Someone's <laughs> spirit is pulling someone by the ear out of a club or out of the bars or out of a restaurant. Someone's a bartender. You're getting pulled out of the bartender by your angels and your guides. It's mm, tower card. It's because they want to disrupt your, your normal. They want to disrupt... They want you to go to they want you to go to school. They want you to start that business. They want you to create that business plan. They want you to have an escape route. I don't know why they're saying escape route. They want you to have like a plan B, C, D. I don't know, like something something other than is what I'm hearing. So they're coming in and it's just like you've gotten too accustomed to being here. This is not where we see you. Now come on, close out this chapter in your life. Let it go. Say goodbye. Let's go. And the money, ooh, this is what I'm saying. Not all money is good money. So yeah, you could be making money, working in the bar, working here, doing this, but that's not what your guides, that's not what your, your ancestors want for you. That's not even what you want for yourself. It's not so much what they want, it's that they can read you. So you getting this sleazy, this sleazy, oily energies around you that are paying you, <clears throat> it doesn't feel worth it. It feels like you're selling your soul. King of Swords is here. And this ancestor, this guide is saying, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm here to guard, guard you. I heard guard you. And if you carry on and continue on these steps further, it's like, have the plan. If you're going to make the plan B or C or D, make sure that you don't keep putting it off. So uh, um, uh, uh, the money has to go down on something in order to get you out of a circumstance. Put that money down. Don't take shortcuts. Don't barter with anyone or accept a compromise. That was a message too that I got in the solar, the lunar eclipse message. Someone's trying to coerce and pull someone back it's like easy to kind of stay here instead of uplifting and pushing and you know getting out of something you got to break a cycle here there's something you got to break away from yeah six of swords and four of wands reverse this means that you're going to be moving away from your comfort zone then i'm putting all these cards back we have the last card here was the empress the final I am definitely seeing masculine energy tapping into feminine magic or shadow magic. And I'm definitely seeing feminine energy tapping into feminine magic. This is your ability to work again with water spirits, earth spirits, shells, beauty aesthetic. Anti, I don't know why I'm hearing anti-aging, beautifying things. Some of you guys might be doing landscaping. Oh, I'm hearing terra, terraform. I don't know what that is. Spirit, can you talk to me about, some of you guys are dealing with um, fighting, like men fighting over you. 
but then it's like you're just not at first it was flattering now you're just like this is a distraction so you just kind of like leave and there they are fighting so it's like they are fighting over you but what they're really fighting over is like something else you know what i mean like they they're they're not fighting so much over you as much as they're fighting for who's the most dominant one in the room and you're just the prize so if that's the case honey you don't need to be there if this has to do with um uh business you're i'm hearing spirit saying clearly competitive edge so you're going to have some competition don't allow the mindset of well this industry is already saturated there's already other people who are doing this there's so many different nail technicians why should i girl or boy roll your sleeves up and make a dent in this world doing what you love and what you do best because there is a client for everyone you know what i mean like I have my people that I go to and sometimes it's not so much their talent as much as it is how they make me feel and how I'm drawn to them and clearly you're magnetic. There's just some things that spirit again is I've been working on the railroad all the long day. It's like your energy is just the energies around you right now are working to pave the way for you to enter into newness, a new chapter in your life, and you're getting just pulled out of something. Let's say it has nothing to do with work or a relationship. Some of you guys have been in a dark funk. <clears throat> I'm seeing even a, a suggestion towards mental or emotional illness or imbalance. And your um, ancestors or the guides are pulling you out of the ear, like pulling you by the ear in order to get you out of there because they don't want you to stay in it for too long. They, they're saying, it's not good for you. <laughs> it's not good for you. And they're literally, like I'm trying to talk and I feel like they're pushing a spoon in my mouth. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. they just want to spit it out. And they're just like, eat it. It's good for you. It's medicine. And you're just like, I don't like medicine. Maybe that's a message for someone. Yeah, two of pentacles and the hermit card. There's something, there's a a cocktail. Like, I don't want to say that, but it's like there's a, a combination of, a very balanced combination of things that's going to work in order to give you clarity in your mind and help you thrive and help you feel good and, and help you feel happy and, and talk to them about it. We have the hermit card here and the two of ones reversed. Some of you guys have been really afraid to ask for help. Some of you guys have been really afraid to take a break in order to get help. Um, yeah, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Wands Reverse. It's that mentality of, I can do it. I can do it. What's that from? That's you guys. Store. I can do it. <clears throat> yeah, we have Two of Wands here and also the Queen of Cups. And this feels good. This feels like, yeah, you can do it with plan B, plan C, plan D, plan. It's like you have all of these different tools that you can implement in order to help you be successful, be vibrant, be thriving, be fruitful, be abundant. What's wrong with that, ma'am? What's wrong with that? And you're being guided towards it. We have the star right above her head and star represents healing. It represents the North Star, it represents the areas in our life that are not the most comfortable for us to strive towards or reach towards, but when we get there, we're gonna be so proud of ourselves that we did it. Love that for you. Spirit, talk, talk, talk to me. I just feel really magnetic energies. I feel like you're pulling in. Stay in that space of attraction, not chasing. Um, something that you had to say goodbye to or someone that you had to say goodbye to was actually divine intervention more so for them than it was for you. They're going to thank you or, or thanks is in order or they're thanking you now through spirit because they don't have the confidence or the ability to say so themselves. Some, it's like a racing car speeding down a highway and it's like 
they narrowly avoid it. I don't know. Someone's profusely and profoundly saying a, a, a major point of, of gratitude, like, thank you, you saved my life. And for some reason, they can't say that to you. They're ashamed or they're blocked. <laughs> they can't say it to you. They're afraid to say it to you one day, one day, but it's like, will they ever? I feel like you'll know who this person is. Things are not okay. Six of Pentacles and the King of Wands again. Something's something's off about King of Wands type of energy. So this is a fire sign, if, if that relates. I'm also hearing the word Pisces. Or it's Piscean in some way. It's dystopian. Someone just can't deal with the reality of life, like how harsh life is or what's expected of them or responsibilities or adulting. They can't handle it. So they they poop out, they fizzle out. They There's been a lot of drug usage that I keep getting and hearing lately. Um, it's just, I just feel like maybe it's generationally, there's just, it's everyone's numbing themselves or drinking. My uh, storage camera thing crashed. Anyways, <clears throat> what I was saying was someone was having a hard time. What I can sense and what I can feel is someone is having a difficult time being an adult and adulting or following through with tasks. It feels like things are overwhelming for them. Um, so they find ways. They know that they should be better. They know that they should be doing more or that they should be doing things differently or in a specific way. But they haven't mentally, emotionally matured or they keep reverting back to these patterns that are, are um, habitual patterns, what is it I'm hearing, that put them in a, in a childlike state or even if they're a grown-ass man or a grown-ass woman. Um, so they, they'll find themselves hitting the bottle, taking drugs, life gets too heavy or real or whatever. And we're seeing this in our society today where we have a very um, susceptible, vulnerable society and population of people or generation of people and all of these intensities of life and these higher vibrational beings are being born into this world and at the same time there's drugs and alcohol alcohol and prescription drugs and laced weed and all this other shit that's just kind of like fucking them up because it just comes with the territory so there's good and bad with all things or just it is what it is as i like to call it so those are the energies that, is that I'm starting to see. It's like someone or something is having a hard time functioning. And spirit just, that's what I was saying. <laughs> All right, so I was asking, and I'm going to finish out this reading. What else do we need to hear? I'm hearing um, tiger stripes, like something about tiger stripes or animals in the zoo. There's emphasis on zoo animals. I don't know why I'm seeing like penguins, polar caps, something about environmentalism is something might be coming through this week. Yeah, polar, polar caps, time, like time. Emphasis on space, definitely a lot of emphasis on space. And I just keep hearing nature, things having to do with nature. Um, I'm hearing something, I'm hearing a calm down, things having to be calmed down, slow down, like, let me love you. There's something about putting more attention to the details of destruction or creation. Money, money being put into, Elon Musk just keeps coming through too, but more money being put into environmentalism, environmentalism and conservation. Also, more programs are being implemented for small families to start farming for themselves. 
there's like a, a it could be a law or a bill that that's passed also speaking of families there's a lot of emphasis on fertility and feminine energy which makes sense with what's going on but spirit is still talking about that the violation of women's bodies or feminine energy as a whole okay um A dietary lifestyle some of you guys someone needs to be really aware of oversleeping I don't know how you do it but this person is really sleeping a lot like a lot like they wake up they eat they watch a movie and they fall asleep they just it's like um, somehow their body allows them to sleep that much <laughs> then we have another person who's like in the bar I don't see them it's like, then I see another person who's in the bar, but it doesn't seem like they're partying. It seems like they're working a lot in the bar, in a restaurant, or weird hours, or weird. Okay. Someone has to redo a business plan, revamp a, a business plan, bring it to someone to critique it, to curtail it, to switch it up, to... It's not that your plan isn't good. It's just that it's going to be successful in the hands of another. Meaning like if you pass it over to them to, um, this could be financial advisement. There's something that isn't working that needs to be fixed. That needs to be addressed. And there's a, a, a handicap with that. There's something that's holding it up. Spirit doesn't want that to be held up any longer. Let us see it. Let us see it. They're, they want to see it. They're very firm on this. They say, print out, print it out, show us, put it like, is it something concrete evidence? I need to see it. I need to see it. There's no, oh, it's on the way or give me another next page. Nothing like that. It's, we need to get this ball rolling. Someone is going to be better off working solo dolo by themselves. Someone has to really let some people hang by themselves, meaning like normally you're the person that can help others or call, like someone can call on you and you'll always be there. This week I see you leaving a lot of people on red or just being like, listen, I got things I need to take care of. <clears throat> like these are things I have to take care of. Someone is taking a break from like medical in order to just take a break. And that's okay, spirit. I mean, consult your doctors, of course, but spirit is acknowledging the fact that you might need to take a break from getting another opinion when it comes to the medical, when it comes to the body, when it comes to you just resting and restoring yourself right now and your own needs and filling your own cup up. Sometimes it feels like you doing the right thing. Ooh, a bird. Sometimes it feels like you doing the right thing and showing up to all of your appointments and having them poke and prod and cut and snip and all this other shit. It can... It's good, but sometimes you just, your body has a way of healing itself. And at least for this week, it feels like just, you can allow some space for you to just kind of mentally get yourself right and allow your body to kind of heal itself, especially with the Empress card sitting here. Of course, I'm not a doctor, so. The Three of Swords is here as well as the Tower card reversed. So Spirit, please talk to me about this. Someone feels like they have hit the end it's you watching someone else suffering or you hearing news about someone else's suffering. It's like you're watching it from afar. So yeah, you this might be a best friend that you've had a falling out with or something feels long distance and you're listening to someone suffering from a distance like over there. Or it's like word of mouth, it's gossip. You're hearing about someone having a hard time with something and it's like you feel like you would love to reach out to them. There's this, there's this desire to like reach out to someone and fix something and make it better. But spirits like you, you can't let them. I know, and it's gonna be hard. Ten of Pentacles. This is it's really gonna test your loyalty. Yes, Ten of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. It's gonna test your loyalty because you're gonna want to. I'm hearing advance to them, show up for them. Yeah, Knight of Swords, you're really just wanting to send a text message, a phone call, but the reality is the Spirit is saying, listen, they, they're going to have to kind of, there has to be some type of separation here. If there is a separation when it comes to relationships, especially when it comes to divorce, I know that it's painful, but it definitely feels like it's the right thing to do. We have Seven of Pentacles reversed. 
again, something, prioritize your peace, prioritize love, prioritize your happiness and your health. Those are things that money can't buy. Okay, spirit. Um, then at the very end of this reading, we have the magician card, which it actually ends on a positive note. <laughs> Not, I don't want to say actually, but we have the magician card here and the ace of wands. So this week actually feels very empowering. And the, the, the empowerment is coming from your mental capacity, like your mental clarity, your mental I need to take time for myself. I, I'm going to withdraw. This is like someone who puts earbuds in, eyeglasses on, hood up, and they're just taking care of business. This is someone who's on vacation and instead of them jam packing their calendar um, and the, the final days that they have on their vacation with events, it's they, they savor the location, they go for a walk, you know, they connect with the people that they've met, the locals or whatever, and just really bond with them for the final. This is hugging your child and knowing that, or hugging your family and knowing that the choices and decisions that you're making are for their highest and greatest good. And sometimes a good decision is not the easiest decision. So let's get some Oracle here. This reading does feel good, but it feels a little exhaust, exhausted. And I think it just has to do with the energies of the eclipse. And um, last week, there was a lot of stuff that was going on and it's just energetically draining, especially for empaths and psychics and intuitives. Some of you guys might literally just be outside jump roping right now as we speak. You guys are on the health plan. I don't know, I'm hearing like a health plan. You guys are feeling like you, you're drinking your smoothies, you're doing things. Interesting. So the first card that jumped out was the card focus. And this is just, to me, this feels like you slowing down and being intentional and being vibrational and you feeling the vibration of certain things. How does spending time with this person, how does it make me feel? How does this crystal make me feel? What do I need to feel grounded and stabilized? When I'm meditating, can I do this by myself or do I need to put it on a timer? Um, can I go for a walk? It's being like getting out of your phone, getting out of your mind, getting out of your head and very active as far as I'm going to, I'm instead of me speaking and knowing that this is going to be the right plan for me, I'm going to be the embodiment of it. And while you're doing that, yes, life might throw you some curveballs, but it feels good. And I, I do get a sense of this connection like it was that I was saying in the very beginning, you're connecting with your guides. You're connecting deeply, more deeper with the spiritual realm. We have the Merlin here and we have the Eagle. It's the two of them coming together in order to work magic, in order to speak to each other, in order to transform a situation. And of course, the one card that I couldn't get rid of, not that I would want to, was the Empress. And here we have the Queen, who represents women, fertility, feminine power, sexuality, and friendships. Then we have the Swan, which is all about transformation, trusting the psychic gifts. And then the last card we have here is Love. So I do get a sense of someone wants to... You may, feminine energies, you may see a masculine suffering or hear about a, a masculine suffering this week. And you're going to want to jump in and try and fix it or run to kind of help them. And I feel like, especially if it's a word of mouth, um, you might send a text message like, hey, I heard this. Um, I think that you actually have to take a step back and allow... Or if it's not a masculine, it could be a friend who's always doing things and all of a sudden they're quiet. Ooh, I just totally forgot that the magician card here, the ace of wands. 
It's like you're going to want to jump into action and fix certain things, but I actually see the best action that you're taking, especially with the Merlin and the Magician card, is talking to spirit about it, talking to your guides about it, talking to the angelic realm. Um, that feels... That feels very good. That's what I feel like you're going to be focusing on here. Um, outside of that, if you're not hearing bad, not bad news, but if you're not hearing about someone going through a difficult time, it's going to be a lot of, uh, I don't, I'm hearing like self-control, like you kind of deep, like the plan kind of deviates, you know, and you just kind of being flexible with how things are unfolding now, instead of attacking yourself or attacking other people for, for, dropping the ball or things not working out? Are you needing a little bit more space? Are you needing additional time or just canceling plans? It's more like, okay, you know, I I just feel really called to do this. Like I'm, I'm listening to my vibes right now. I'm listening to the energy. I'm going to respect the energy. And I know that we had this plan, but what if we go and flow in this direction because this is where we're being called to go and spirit just is celebrating that. Let's talk to Archangel Michael real quick. Archangel Michael, is there anything specific that you wish to <clears throat> bring to our attention? <clears throat> it definitely feels like someone is going to say something. <clears throat> or... Wow. I was going to say this earlier, but I didn't. I don't know why I didn't. <clears throat> okay, so lean on God and the angels for support. Exactly what it was I was saying. But also, write about your thoughts and feelings. Some of you guys are getting out your your thoughts and your feelings onto paper because you can't actually say it. You're having a hard time, which is something that I was feeling earlier. Look at this. Keep your eyes on your targeted intention. That's the, That goes back with the original message earlier about focus. And then it's funny because the next card that we have here is explore your options. This to me does not mean that you take your eyes off of the intention. It's 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 about you. To me, this feels like you putting all the emphasis and focus on, okay, what do I need? Normally, I would show up for this person. Normally, I would show up for this appointment. Normally, I would do this. Normally, this is my scheduled itinerary. And that just feels kind of zapped. And your eyes are focused on spirit. Your eyes are focused on on your North Star. Your eyes are focused on your growth. Your eyes are focused on this. So having said that, because your eyes are focused on the ultimate goal, you can listen to your body, feel your body, feel the energy, feel the vibration, and allow spirit to speak to you in order to give you clarity into what you're going to need, where you're going to deviate, where the... Remember that roller coaster I was talking about, that baby roller coaster in the very beginning? It's not this crazy up and down. It's more these kind of like twists and turns that can feel a little abrupt. But it feels like you can handle it, especially this card right here. Lean on God and your angels for support. One last card. I say that, but is it really going to be... What do you need to say? Someone needs to say something. I'm hearing, I'm sorry. Someone's like, okay. It feels, someone's like wounded, feels wounded, wounded warrior. What do you need to say? I guess I should do notes from the universe on love and connection. There is a message on speed and not like you have the opportunity to speed forward. You have the opportunity to rush forward to something and spirit's just like, don't do that. It now is not a good time. Someone really needs to say something. I can just feel it. Wow. What are you trying to say? I 
I have a general sense, but I want to, yep. Yeah. So I'm hearing the word, I'm just gonna jump right in. I'm hearing the words validation. Someone wants to be validated, but it's not that they don't deserve it, but it's like they need to find that validation within themselves. I'm sorry. That's it's just they get validated by all these different things. They've had more than one opportunity in order to receive validation, and somehow this so far the validation hasn't worked. So you, them looking for validation in another area from you, it's it's like an endless pit. Like I'm gonna keep pouring into you a compliment. I'm gonna keep pouring into you, you know, something that you're they're asking of you in order to validate validate an experience or validate no like. It, if it hasn't been enough in the past with anybody else or in any other circumstances, this, how is this time going to be any different? And I just feel like they have this need to be like, yeah, well, and they just don't get it. And something about them being iced out, something about them having to face the storm on their own is going to help them to realize you know what, maybe I am a bit of a problem. Maybe I have to do things a little differently. You you can't be the only one transforming. You can't be the only one growing and everybody else gets to stay comfortable and in their status quo and get to do toxic, you know, keep taking these toxic turns. So they have to meet you where you stand. Some people are taking, or they're doing the best that they can and still it's what the, it's what, has worked for them in the past, but you are not like other people. So why did they, and then when you tell them, no, that's not gonna work for me, or no, that's, I don't, that's disrespectful to my energy, or no, that's not how I get down, or no, that's not going to be enough, then they're just kind of like stunned, and then immediately defensive, because then they're like, well, I'm trying, and then you're like, okay, and? You're not trying to be stuck up, you're not trying to be a snob, it's the fact that you know what you want, you know what's, you know what you need, you know what you're about, and you took a lot of time in order to get to the space in your life where you understand this about yourself, so you're not trying to take steps backwards in order to appease anyone and their dysfunctional ass comfort levels. I'm sorry. <clears throat> and as I'm saying that, like my throat. So right now, they're trying to figure out, this didn't work, 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 or I tried this and it didn't work, now what do I say to them? Now what can I do? Like, and you're just like, I, I, don't fucking look at me. <laughs> like, I got shit to do, bruh. Like, I got other things to take care of right now. That, no offense, but you're not really high on my totem pole. Not that you're, it's just like, you don't even do fucking explain yourself. Like, I'm over talking about it. Um, but the cards that you have pulled here, as far as what they want to say, is you have more options than you realize. You know what to do. There isn't a soul on the planet who doesn't crave your approval. Don't be misled. And honor thyself. And the animals that you have here, you have mouse spirit, you have eagle spirit, you have armadillo spirit, pig spirit, and antelope. Antelope spirit says life is speeding up and... Yes, but that doesn't mean that you got to run beside it. Okay, don't you don't need to follow the crowd. Pig spirit says use your mind wisely. The best way to do that is not by rushing into a decision. Mouse spirit says tend to the small things. That means reading the fine print. Eagle spirit says spirit has your back. That means contact and connect with your spiritual team. And armadillo spirit says set healthy boundaries. Enough said. All right. So my loves, another week. Oh man. Um, I'm going to be in the apothecary, of course, and we have full restock right now. So if you need to shop for magical goods, work with me, set a custom intention candle or oil, they are available. However, please keep in mind that there is a bit of a wait when it comes to custom intentions and oils, right? Just because there is, right? There's a lot of people who need magic right now and you know, I'm lucky enough to, to do it and I'm happy to do it. So, um, yeah, if you need anything in order to work your magic or manifest state, manifest your intentions, 
It can be found at BahadiLife.com. Like I said, I think in the very beginning of this reading, please be mindful of scammers and spammers in the comments. I'm not offering readings through WhatsApp. I'm not saying, yo, contact me here at this phone number. That's not my vibe. I've never done that. I'm not open to readings right now. I'm feeling the itch to read, but it's been mostly for the community, right? People in my area. <clears throat> All right, until then, you guys, I'm sending you all of my love. Please make sure that you're looking out for, for yourself and looking out for each other. Until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.